हेलो स्टूडेंट्स नाउ वी आर गोइंग टू डिस्कस अबाउट दी जनरल मेथड ऑफ प्रिपरेशन ऑफ बैक्टीरियल वैक्सीन राइट सो देयर आर वैक्सीन विच विच वी आर टेकिंग फॉर दी टू गेट दी एक्टिवेट आवर इम्यूनिटी फॉर द डिफरेंट डिजीज एंड डिसऑर्डर सो व्हाट आर द स्टेप्स आर इन्वॉल्व इन टू दी प्रोडक्शन ऑफ दोज वैक्सीन दैट वी आर गोइंग टू डिस्कस बेसिकली स्पेशली द बैक्टीरियल वैक्सीन सो वेन वी टॉक अबाउट दी वैक्सीन अ वैक्सीन इज अ बायोलॉजिकल प्रिपरेशन दैट वी नो दैट इम्प्रूव द इम्यूनिटी to a particular disease right it may be typhoid it may be polio or something like that so coming to the bacterial or viral antigen that may be either killed or into the living but in the living it will be attenuated right so attenuated means inactivated right so these things we are going to do into the vaccine right so there are two types of uh, bacterial vaccine uh, basically attenuated bacterial vaccine so when we talk about the attenuated bacterial vaccine it is achieved by growth under abnormal condition right abnormal condition in the sense we are not providing the optimum condition favorable condition for the growth of particular bacteria abnormal condition we are uh, growing that bacteria which cause which may cause the pathogen but uh, what why we are doing so in abnormal condition to reduce the force of the bacteria value amount or degree or weaken the particular microbes so that it will not be Uh, uh able to generate the symptoms whenever it will be injected as a vaccine so that is the um, uh, intention to produce such kind of uh, examples are bcg vaccine typhoid vaccine mmr vaccine and the oral polio vaccine so these are the uh, what you call attenuated bacterial vaccine coming to the killed bacterial vaccine here as the name indicate killed we are going to kill we are not going to uh, uh, keep them in attenuated form we are going to kill it so it is achieved by method of inactivation right method of what inactivation the particular microbes we are going to inactivate which includes either by heat or by the chemical agents right so by by we will heat so that particular bacteria it will killed or by chemical agent it may be alcohol or something like that which we which is going to kill the particular bacteria and uh, that dead uh, bodies of the bacteria or dead cells of the bacteria can be injected in the result loss of replication ability or activity right so uh, whenever the this uh, killed bacteria it will be injected to the particular person uh, it is not going to replicate the bacteria will not be able to replicate over there that is only the intention so that uh, the immune system can be introduced uh, by this particular bacteria which is inactivated or into the dead form right so basically what we are doing the what are the methods uh, steps in, it is involved general method of production first one it is the here here uh, five category five steps it is involved basically the first one is the generation of antigen first we need to generate the antigen uh, we have to cultivate the antigen so that uh, we can isolate and further we can give so what we are doing in generation protein or dna or any uh, materials of need to be grown in the bio reactor right so that's what we have to grow the bacteria uh, by taking its protein or its dna it has to be grown into the bio reactor with particular growth medium right particular growth medium what is the kind of bacteria uh, like typhoid bacteria or like uh, any other pore. so that we have to uh, grow it in particular medium that optimize the production of antigen right so the the antigen or the particular bacterium it is going to produce or generate that's what generation of antigen second step isolation whatever the generation or whatever the cultivation has been done into the bio reactor whatever the growth has been occurred that we need to isolate right so antigen will be separated from cells and isolated from the proteins and medium so whatever it is there in your bio reactor into the it may be into the medium it may be into the protein which you have taken from there we need to isolate it separate it right and the purification after separation the purification we have to do antigen purified by ultra filtration and the column chromatography techniques we can purify it and uh, so that we can get the the pure antigen which can be useful for the vaccine right then addition of other component also we can add after purifying of that particular antigen we can add adjuvant we can add stabilizers we can add preservative so that we can uh, keep them safe or uh, uh, in a proper uh, way so that it can be uh, show its action into the 
immune system to the immune system right coming to the last of packing packing means recipient vessels we have to keep them uh, and uh, protected from it has to be protected from the air water and uh, human contamination so that uh, the valves we are using into the most of the vaccines or uh, where from where it will be air tight container and uh, water or moisture something has not to be reached so that the living or dead bacteria can be safe over there so this is the five steps uh, we are adopting in general method of production of vaccines and the bacterial vaccines it is very very important right from the beginning we are having so many types of bacteria vaccine uh, for example uh, polio and typhoid right thank you